Welcome to Math Clicks. Why powers of 0 and 1 work the way they do. Well, we all know 3 squared equals 9. And we were taught that it's 3 times 3 equals 9. And since there's two 3's, we can write that shorthand as 3 squared equal 9. Same with the cube. 3 times 3 times 3 equal 27. 3 of the 3's, 3 to the 3. But what about 3 to the 1st equals 3? Well, maybe it makes sense that 3 is just one 3, so it's itself, but what about this 3 to the 0 being 1 business? There's no 3's. How does that equal a 1? Oh, well, somebody a whole lot smarter than me a long time ago figured out a simple thing about multiplying similar bases with different powers that I will now use to explain why 3 to the 0 equals 1 and 3 to the 1 equals 3. So we know if we multiply 27 by 9, that's 63, carry the 6, that's 9 has 2, 18 plus 6 is 24. Well, 9 times 7 equals 243. Well, since we can write 9 as 3 to the 2, and 27 is 3 to the 3, and we multiply those, well, I've already shown you here that 243 is the fifth power of 3. Well, they notice that it really comes down to addition of the exponents of the similar bases, i.e. 2 plus 3 equals 5. So when you're multiplying a similar base with a different exponent, you just add the exponents to get the same base at raised to that exponent. Well, it works backward too. And what I mean by that is we know that 243 divided by 9 equals 27, and likewise, 243 divided by 27 equals 9. So if we had the, the power of 3 to the 5th over 3 to the 2nd equals 3 to the 3rd, wouldn't that be 5 minus 2 equal 3? So when you divide similar bases with different exponents, you subtract the bottom from the top, and that equals the power that the base will be raised to to get your answer. 243 divided by 9 equals 27. So why is that matter for these? Well, 3 to the 0 can really be thought of as 3 to the first power divided by 3 to the first power, which comes out to 3 to the 1 minus 1 equals 3 to the 0. And we know any numerator over its identical denominator equals 1 this is why any base raised to the power of 0 equals 1. Stay tuned for a next video on fractional powers and negative powers.